need to rest for proper cellular respiration? Mm, by cellular respiration, ma'am, do you mean the process of producing energy from food? Yes, Enzo. But ma'am, what form of energy does cellular respiration produce, ma'am? Cellular respiration produces energy as heat, which is used to regulate body temperature. But more than that, cellular respiration produces chemical energy stored in the high energy molecules of adenosine triphosphate or ATP, nicotinamine adenine dinucleotide or NADH, and flavin adenine dinucleotide or FADH2. When a phosphate group attaches to a molecule of ADP to form ATP, these high energy molecules are like the currency for chemical energy. Right, Ashley. Cellular respiration can occur in two types. Anaerobic, which does not require oxygen, and aerobic, which requires oxygen. In most organisms like us, for example, respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. Thus, it is classified as aerobic respiration. In some organisms, like yeast and other forms of bacteria, respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen. This is classified as anaerobic respiration. In this process, only a little of the chemical energy in glucose is harvested. Like other biological processes, I'm sure that respiration is also carried out by small chemical processes to produce its general equation. That's correct. It is also important to note that all of these reactions are facilitated by enzymes, which have very specific functions. Let me describe to you how carbohydrates, our primary energy source, is used to produce energy during cellular respiration. So if one glucose molecule produces two pyruvic acid molecule and one pyruvic acid molecule forms two ATPs, then one glucose molecule comes with four ATPs. But two ATP molecules were used to split glucose. The net energy output of glycolysis for each molecule of glucose is two ATPs and two NADH molecules. Very good students, that's the end of glycolysis.